Welcome back, this is horticulture intern Carl Johnson and today I'm going to be showing you how to build an indoor greenhouse cabinet. We'll start off with our materials. First off we have a surge protector, an outlet timer, fans for air circulation, a temperature and humidity monitor, LED light strips, more LED light strips, adhesive strips to attach them, velcro to help attach them even more, and here are those things written out if you want to take a screenshot or pause and write them down. This is the cabinet we're going to be outfitting. Your cabinet doesn't need to look exactly like this, but I'm going to point out some key features this one has that make it especially good for this purpose. First of all, it's all metal construction. It's been painted so that it's somewhat waterproof. It's got glass shelving that's adjustable so we can move it closer and further to the light, and a metal bottom. That's where we'll be drilling our hole for the wires. Get your hole saw, make sure it's a metal hole saw and not a wood hole saw, and you can begin drilling a hole in the back corner or really wherever you like to tuck your wires in and have them come out of the bottom so that they can be plugged into the wall. we're going to install our LED lighting. We're going to attach them to the inside of the top of the cabinet so they'll provide a light source for our plants enabling them to photosynthesize inside the cabinet. I've got the adhesive strips that these lights came with and I've also got some velcro strips to give them extra support. adhesives attached to our lights, we can start to press them onto the cabinet ceiling, making sure they're really well attached so they don't fall down onto our plants. placement for our circulation fans. This can be adjusted later. The process we completed on the upper level can be repeated on the lower level. I use a little less light down here because I'm going to use this level as a propagation space. fans and our lights are installed, it's time to hook up our outlet timer. I let the fans run 24 hours and I let my lights run a little over 12 hours a day. Now that our timer is installed and our lights and fans are plugged in, we can start to put plants in the cabinet. A key final piece is our temperature and humidity monitor. Having a closed environment like this cabinet makes it easier to maintain both of these things. It's also important to place this in the cabinet somewhere you can see without opening the cabinet.
greenhouse cabinet is a great way to give your plants a little relief from the cold and dry Connecticut winters. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for more plant tips and tricks. Thank you.